The Global Initiative Against Transnational Organized Crime celebrated its 10th anniversary in 2023. We were established in 2013 with a small number of staff and a small network of experts. Things really grew rapidly from then, and we are proud of what we have achieved. We are now the single largest civil society organization and network of experts examining the issue of illicit markets and organized crime globally. But now is not the time to be complacent, and we have spent some time rethinking what our activities and our focus areas will be for the next three years, 2024 to 2026. From trafficking weapons in conflict zones and state-embedded actors using corruption for power, to human smugglers profiting from the climate emergency and cyber criminals manipulating advancements in technology, organized crime both enables and profits from crisis and vulnerability. These challenges require innovation and a coordinated effort. Our strategy for the next three years builds on five key advantages. Analysis, innovation, resilience, our network of experts and effectiveness. Our objective is to carry out research and analysis on illicit markets and organized crime and also to conduct activities which disrupt illicit markets, including supporting civil society around the world to do so. Overall, our aim is to learn from these experiences, to set policy and to channel responses which have real impact. We will also deepen our research on the links between conflict, instability and illicit markets. And we will publish a third edition of the Global Index on Organized Crime. Geographically, we will focus more of our work in Latin America, Central and Western Asia, and Western Europe. We will also syndicate our work more widely through podcasts, videos, and online tools, and by publishing our research in a wider array of languages. Organized crime is a global menace, but there's no global strategy to counter it. Over the next three years, we will develop our plan to respond more effectively to this global phenomenon, drawing in as many partners as we can. A new report will map out a strategy against organized crime. It will include actions for governments, law enforcement agencies, the private sector and civil society to more effectively counteract organized crime. We believe that more attention and resources need to be devoted to examining the future possible trajectories of organized crime and its evolution as a threat globally core to our focus must be to reduce the harm caused by organized crime. Much of our work engaged in this area is supporting civil society, victims, survivors and others to bolster the resilience to organized crime in communities and cities and places across the world. A key pillar at the Global Initiative is the Resilience Fund, a grant-making mechanism which has supported over 170 individuals and civil society organizations in 55 countries around the world. We will be scaling up its impact, both in terms of the resources that we devote to the fund, but also to ensure that its geographic spread reflects the findings of the Global Index Against Organized Crime. Over the next three years, we will continue to build a global network of expertise and influence, a network with action and integrity. We will also continue to be active in the UN, taking full advantage of the organization's new ECOSOC status. And we will continue to enhance strategic partnerships with the UNODC, with Interpol, with other strategic partners and with regional organizations. The Global Initiative has grown quickly and is now very geographically dispersed. We will continue to enhance the management and operation of the institution ensuring good financial management, safety for our staff, effective uh, workings of the organization as a whole, and making sure that our people are motivated and carrying out the work that they need to do on the ground. The next three years will be of crucial significance for the Global Initiative. We are so much bigger than when we were established. We hope to be able to influence the debate and engage in practical activities on the ground while producing high quality research to ensure that there is a catalytic response to organized crime, both globally, but in many communities and countries around the world. Thank you very much.